Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Cosmic Earth Angelics of the New Lemuria. Our Starseed Ground Crew Team of the 144 are receiving massive energetic upgrades and activations from the Most High, Infinite Source Creator. Our Great Central Sun continues to fill this realm with the creation codes of our new heaven upon the new earth. With the holy fire flowing in through the Maha Shivratri, the night of Shiva, and the holy waters of the new supermoon in Pisces, the yin merges with the yang in divine union to bridge heaven and earth through our sacred heart centers. In the power of silence, we are transformed by the still white magnetic light at the center of all things and realize our true nature of Buddha mind to transform ourself and the world into sovereign conscious awakened beings of the Christos Sophia, one true light. The love of Source is pouring in through the gold ray of manifestation to empower and inspire our good people of the new earth to live from our hearts and walk a path of peace and prosperity upon Terra Nova Gaia. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful decree of the I am angel. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. Now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. Pangea is an ancient consciousness, an energetic template, a deep remembrance of our unity returning once again as we reconnect our sacred hearts with each other. The most ancient ones still remember Mu and Pangea, bringing back the memories, the remembrance. This is our greatest gift. From ValerieElster.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Mary Costello Insistence of Innocence The First Intention As we travel deeper to meet the forgotten parts, we travel with the golden frequency of Mother, and this frequency carries the innocence of all. Home and Honor Resonant Honor And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Judith Kusel Life and truth is very simple. Simplicity holds the eternal truth of life. We complicate life through our own blindness as we do not take notice of what our hearts know for sure. The very miracle of life lies in its very unfolding. Here, now, life is a journey and not a destination. The infinite soul lives on ad infinitum. From JudithKusel.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light Aura 444. Return of the Solar Dragons. The grid in Scotland is getting a massive ritual clearing now, and this will align to Atlantean timelines too. Even the star logos of Hydra. This brings freedom codes. This brings healing and massive transformation into the light. It's important to feel safe as rituals clear and the light activates. It's a major victory to clear these old timelines from all logos. We are electromagnetic connected to all fields in the universe, and that's why they use sacred locations of vortexes and their ley lines. They are magnetic and so are you. Remember your heart is the biggest field, so this is how you shift from density to light. Stabilize your pillar as Earth's core is recalibrating plasma light from galactic suns. As this light comes up, shaking can be felt as it charges the tectonics. You are an electrical current and your nervous system is also charging. Dizziness, loss of balance, headaches can be felt. Center, ground, breathe and hydrate. Allow cellular purification with the energy of peace. And today from 
Divine Angel of the Light, Light Worker 4444. Angels of Love are here. They offer you a bouquet of multicolored roses to assist in further opening your heart center, allowing your spirit to soar. Visualize the roses in the bouquet blossoming, filling the air with sweet perfume. As the roses bloom, they sing love notes within you. The angels of light are here, raining heavenly gold and white light onto earth, preparing humanity for the full return of the Christ within the self. The angels sing Gloria in excelsis Deo, for the sun has risen magnificently in the hearts of humanity, bringing peace and goodwill to all. A new cosmic cycle begins. A new world for humanity emerges. This is the great return to our sovereignty, masters of manifestation. All rights are restored to the children of the light as we venture forth into the cosmos, painting the all with light, our spirits free once again. In this new cosmic cycle, light is the predominant force and love returns in its infinite beauty and wisdom as the vibrational pattern in all things. For you see, the light of the sun allows the cosmic tree of life, DNA, to blossom and grow, singing desert rose love notes in the cells. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Shay from Numbers by Shay Numerology. 3924. Like a lighthouse in a storm. Today can lead you gently but truly to safe harbor where you can rest and renew. As always, however, as you follow its guidance, you must steer yourself through the rough waters. Today is your intuition in action. It is the light that always shines for you, but it can't make you look. It can't override free will. It can nudge, advise, and recommend. It can whisper and it can scream, but it can't make you listen. March will help you to work on that, as the mirror that reflects your efforts. Your right action is to partner with the light. It can not only cut through the storm, it can harness its strength for you. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Grandma Chandra, you are getting more into the new physics of your life and the new physics of Gaia. Stepping into this new physics reality, you will be paying more attention to the potential between the divine energies. The separation is happening now, and the way you will see it will be by the gap between what is going away, the old energies, and where you are going, how high you are raising your vibration. This is your potential, this is your trampoline, your accumulation of energy to go further. The bigger the gap, the faster and easier you can go forward. This potential will spring you up from what is below. The lower energies do not have the key to hold or support their movement because these energies are melting by their own weight. They are slowly fading away. There is no energy there. The only way they exist is because they are still connected to what is happening on the planet, connected to the whole picture connected to your conscious seeing and understanding of the planet. The further you go from here, the faster and easier you will move. The sky is the limit. As this process is happening, you will see and know a lot of people whose choice is not to go forward and raise their vibration. Emotionally, it can be very hard to see this happening, to say goodbye to this reality where we lived for so long. I am advising you to send as much love as possible to those you love who have not chosen to go forward. Know that they are with your love, handed to God, in the best hands they can be, and whatever they choose, the choice is theirs. This sadness, this emotional feeling of separation will eventually go away. Hugs and love to all of you, Grandma, from GrandmaChandra.com and today from Divine Brothor and Sistar of the Light Shri and Kara, with a deep bow before your Divine Mastery Presence. Welcome to this extraordinary moment. The harmony of Divine Mastery rises from within. The recognition of service as a way of being is now. The March Equinox and the Great Spiral are opening the depth of your ancient Divine Mastery Presence to flourish and be. 
2024 is an ascension energy year of choice and in this moment that choice is the acceptance of cosmic eyes to clearly see beyond the self-imposed limitations of this worldly moment the rare opportunity to know beyond all fear doubt and hesitancy that you are the master in form here now and ready to serve the world that is coming of age fully rising into the harmonic frequency of divine mastery presence is outside of the physical mental and emotional it is the inner wisdom that cannot ever be taken from you the deep knowing that you were born for this moment the eternal smile that invites you to relax into the trust of your divine nature the gift of abundant flow that is yours to harvest as you love you more today the field of potentiality is reaching out its arms and inviting your conscious participation in this alchemical transformation my heart is honored to be with you and in the essence of this new moon we expand beyond all perception into the fifth journey of divine mastery a mighty journey as together we gather in the field of awareness of the active presence with all my heart and honoring of your unique journey from shri and com, and today from divine broth or of the light diego e berman phd super new moon energies dreaming big and pisces wishing upon the stars dear friends the energies of the upcoming new moon are already arriving the super new moon in pisces occurs on sunday march 10th this new moon is a very important event energetically speaking this lunation is a super moon meaning that the moon is in closer proximity to the earth and even though we will not see the moon in the sky because it's a new moon the gravitational pull will be quite strong we will be feeling the full effects of this upcoming astronomical event to the maximum since this is the closest super new moon of the year the next major lunar events are the lunar eclipse on march twenty fifth and the solar eclipse on april eighth a new moon energy gives us a chance to plant the seeds that you can watch grow over the following two weeks up until the next full moon and the following six months during this new moon lunation the moon is invisible to the naked eye from earth symbolizing the opportunity to step into new unknown territory and embrace change and endless possibilities spiritually speaking a new moon invites us to delve inward connect with our inner selves and align with our deepest desires this pisces super new moon is a time of dreaminess imagination mystery revelations and hidden meanings this new moon energy is wrapped in a cloud of mysticism symbolizing our spiritual journey into unknown territories where we can explore our unconscious desires and deep memories as the sun and moon unite in the mutable water sign it can trigger an emotional storm and make us feel more sensitive to our emotions and the emotions of others this weekend please be mindful about this issue as you interact with others who are also being affected by this emotional new moon pisces is known as a compassionate sign and this energy allows us to sense the energy of others creating feelings of compassion and empathy try to be surrounded with like-minded people as we swim through this lunation to create a more peaceful and supportive emotional environment this super new moon will be pushing us emotionally into the deep waters of our mind be mindful about this issue and try not to get lost down the rabbit hole of your subconscious that said allow yourself to dream big and truly feel the desires of your heart and soul this is the perfect time to tap into your subconscious and trust in the path that is unfolding before you even if it seems uncertain and nebulous this new moon in pisces on sunday is the lunar event before eclipse season starts so it's the perfect time to wish upon a star and send your manifestations out into the celestial ocean with the astrological new year and the beginning of eclipse season looming on the horizon 
This weekend's new moon in Pisces acts as a pivotal energetic preamble pushing us to confront the depths of our subconscious and embrace the path and timelines ahead before the major eclipse shifts arrive. May this whimsical and imaginative super new moon in Pisces bring you in alignment with the dreams and desires you need to manifest for a more joyful, healthful, and enlightened soul journey. Much love and have a great weekend. We are one. From DiegoBerman.com and today from Divine Sister of the Light, Natalia Alba. Beloved ones, this is a time in which many of you are experiencing a profound reconnection through the many light body activations that are now taking place and solar emanations, and that leads you to a process of conscious realignment with your soul and monad. In this sacred process, with the assistance of your karmic council guides, the one in charge of your incarnation process. You will be balancing all your past, present, and future actions, for you are not only yourself, and we dwell in a simultaneous reality. During this time, my guides share the importance for all who are guided to work on energetic and spiritual clearing, which is totally different from a physical cleansing. When we are on the threshold of becoming sovereign beings, we become aware of all of our existence, and all the conscious and unconscious acts. It is then that we are allowed to revise our lives and clear all energetic blockages that are still causing feelings of blame or any other emotion that creates misalignment. During this Piscean season, we have the opportunity for major cleansing and spiritual closure, so we can resurrect as the free sovereign beings that we came here to be. Guides share that when this occurs, we have finally balanced our karma, and it is then when we can reunite with our personal karmic council team and examine all we need to remove from our subtle bodies and souls heritage, as there will be things we carry through genetic inheritance, for example, that are not ours to bear, and we need higher assistance to be able to remove these patterns. They will help us clear karmic imprints, which are seals that are often not ours, and that we inherit or carry through imprints due to past trauma the majority of the time. If you are working with yourself and DNA at this time, it is pivotal to support this process of energetic and spiritual karmic release. Many old feelings and wounds can emerge as well. Remember it is an organic process as we embody our authentic self and mission. Call upon your personal incarnation council guides and ask them to help you heal your wounded self, removing all programs related to guilt and blame. They will reunite with you in your dream phase, even though you may not remember, or consciously if you are prepared to hold this etheric meeting, and they will help you heal, on a spiritual and energetic level, what we cannot fully in our earthly plane. The activation may feel like a very warm feeling, inwardly and outwardly. You may too feel your body vibrating at a high speed and other sensations that are natural when your guides heal you with the gold frequency which is felt strongly and revitalizing. Golden frequencies that you may see in the form of bright orbs descending upon your being. For gold is the frequency that removes karmic ties, blockages, and bonds that we have balanced and need to be cleared now, or that are not ours to carry. This is why it is so important to be connected to our soul and monad for us to be able to receive this etheric treatment. At this time of profound integration and closure of an old personal cycle, after this personal energetic and spiritual cleansing, you will hold more clarity about who you truly are and your unique soul path. You will remember that your life is yours as well as the story you wish to live on this plane. Rewrite what no longer resonates, relive what does, and be prepared to live within divine love, authenticity, and divine alignment, for you have now rebirthed into your authentic and precious self free of past burdens, and filled with love, wisdom, and power. Within infinite love, from NataliaAlba.com And today from Ascension Lightworkers to the Ascension Lightworker Collective. 
in times when intense energies are prevalent and heightened sensitivity is collectively apparent. Turning inward for guidance offers profound and depthful insights. This planetary stage marks a profundity and significant opportunities to prepare self for the incoming changes to transition into higher timelines by setting new short-term goals and higher purposeful intentions. As life accelerates on this ascending planet and gains momentum, it becomes essential to release attachments to the past and connect into a deeper focus on the present moment. By letting go of the old narratives and welcoming in the now and the new, ascending individuals are empowering themselves to shape a brighter future through conscious awareness, living and taking mindful and inspired actions. Establishing clear boundaries with intention and purpose is highly beneficial to creating a solid foundation and structure to develop stability amidst life's dynamics and uncertainties. By taking inventory of self's higher priorities and commitments, aligning them with their true purpose, individuals will harness their energy more effectively and avoid dispersing it among unfulfilling pursuits. This introspective process also extends to decluttering the external environment, symbolizing the release of stagnant energies and paving the way for new opportunities and internal growth. Developing genuine connections with self and others, including the natural world, is highlighted as a transformational practice during this phase of inner transformation. Recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings and embracing the unity of the universe creates a profound shift in perspective and enables authentic relationships to expand. By shedding the false masks and ego-driven perceptions, ascending individuals will engage in meaningful interactions that promote mutual understanding and collective well-being. Starseeds, in essence, are navigating these energetic shifts and embracing sensitivity as a catalyst for personal evolution that requires a holistic approach, one that integrates introspection, boundary setting, and higher self-connection building. Through mindful intention and conscious living, you experience the interconnectedness of all life forms as self embarks on a journey of authentic self-discovery and empowerment, leading to transformational and fulfilling experiences and new earth energy. Trusting in this process and remaining open to ascension changes paves the way for a future aligned with self's deepest aspirations and highest potential. Star seeds, spiritually aware individuals with a strong connection to the divine, are old and evolved souls reincarnated on earth to facilitate its transformation. Equipped with spiritual abilities and gifts like mediumship, energy mastery, healer of all walks, mystics, remote viewers, clairvoyance, and clairsentience. Starseed's purpose is to help humanity ascend to higher dimensions and contribute to the planet's spiritual evolution. As starseeds navigate their purpose on Earth, it will always be important to them to maintain alignment with their energy frequencies and boundaries, recognizing that not all burdens are theirs to carry. By staying true to themselves and allowing others to meet them at their energetic level, starseeds will accomplish their purpose and contribute positively to the collective ascension process. Finding your passion as you ascend involves uncovering your authentic self buried deep beneath societal expectations. Through healing and transformation, past wounds transform into inner core strengths and values. What once seemed disempowering becomes inner mastery and universal wisdom. Accepting duality and contradictions is part of the ascension journey towards authenticity, wholeness, and enlightenment. Unity consciousness downloads are activating clearings and recalibration in the throat chakra, third eye chakra, and crown chakra, enhancing alignment with the truth of infinite oneness. As these downloads resonate with the collective, lightworker vibrations elevate towards love and light. 
The alignment process culminates during Pisces season. It is urging inner exploration to heal and rise above denser energies and vibrations. This planetary time offers ideal opportunities for soul expansion and embodiment of unconditional love. With support available for this transformative journey towards self-healing and collective upliftment, the ascending collective hold the key to this profound process. Trust in the universe's cosmic intelligence to guide us on our journey of self-realization and ascension. It involves surrendering to the divine timing, embracing challenges as opportunities for higher learning and growth, aligning us with a higher purpose beyond our limited perceptions. This trust empowers the ascending to navigate setbacks with resilience and adaptability, leading to inner peace and serenity. Ultimately, trust becomes a beacon of guiding light towards spiritual fulfillment and vibrational alignment with the universal flow of source light creation. In loving and devoted ascension service from Ascension Lightworkers. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Karen Lithica, the rainbow light body. Are you feeling the quantum presence entering your world? For 2024 brings through this heightened amplification, providing deep and expansive insights. Know your multidimensional viewpoint is simply your personal reference tool to explore and co-create. For the deeper merging and amplification of your light field is bringing forth many points of light awareness. I am shown the rainbow light evolution of now and the great evolutionary steps we are taking. As we co-calibrate the light of our individual self whilst assisting others in the consciousness of humanity. No many are juggling multiple light roles as we are caregivers, earth guardians, light holders, calibrators, and amplifiers of light. The art of balancing the light synthesis of now is the task before us. We are stepping up and up as the new light world reaches us. The great light body assimilation is underway as we calibrate the light of now. So be as you are. Flow and activate in light. Be a messenger of light for humanity. With love, with light, Cosmic Light Alliance from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Ra James. Today Mars squares Uranus. This is giving you a chance to shift your mindset and clear anything blocking your success. Expect high energies that may be bringing some tension up. It's all about getting back on track with your path. Mercury shifts into Aries today, where it will stay until May 15th. Expect to feel and to be way more magnetic. Your ability to charm is at an all-time high. This alignment is all about aligning your words with your actions. It's one thing to talk and another to make things happen. Watch your words and make sure you're not acting impulsively or saying things you don't mean. Expect fresh energy of renewal and new beginnings. This alignment will help you to see things through a new lens. This will help you to embrace new perceptions and perspectives and act on your visions. This is a very productive time energetically. The next two months are all about laying out your plans and revising them. Expect a lot of change over the next couple of months. It's a great time to start a new venture, business, relationship, or even to set personal goals. Love is in the air. Expect these energies to be taking it to the mental level. Telepathy is at an all-time high. Expect to connect on a deeper level within your relationships. Expect a deeper level of understanding within them. This alignment is great for dissolving communication blocks. From SparksofDivineLightHealing.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Alex Miles. This energy is supercharged and further amplified by the occurrence of solar storms this weekend and is expected to be felt intensely over the next 72 hours. These cosmic events bring heightened levels of energy that will continue to impact us for at least the next two weeks, likely resulting in change and transformation in various aspects of our lives. This week's energy carries a potent sense of transformation. 
as we're encouraged to clear away old energies to make space for new connections and fresh beginnings outdated and obsolete patterns are coming to an end as we move toward emotional mental spiritual and physical alignment at times this can feel like life is turning upside down shaking up the familiar and challenging us to welcome radical change we may feel drawn towards closure particularly in unhealthy relationships as we seek stability safety and a solid foundation for the future the astrological influences of the week may bring about a heightened sense of emotional awareness and self-understanding and it's possible that we will encounter long-standing issues or intense emotions that have been lingering beneath the surface this presents a valuable opportunity for self-reflection and personal growth as we delve into our emotions by acknowledging and working through these feelings we can set the stage for healing and transformation emerging from the experience with greater strength and self-awareness march ninth discipline and tension Today the alignment of the moon conjunct Saturn highlights the importance of discipline and responsibility. This emphasizes the need for structure and commitment in our daily lives. However, the aspect of Mars square Uranus creates tension and may lead to impulsive actions. It's essential to exercise caution and avoid reckless behavior. This day calls for finding a balance between our desire for freedom and the necessity of stability in our actions and decisions. March 10th, Communication Boost and Spiritual Growth On March 10th, Mercury, the planet of communication, moves into Aries, a fiery and assertive zodiac sign. This means that our way of speaking and expressing ourselves might become more direct and confident. It's like a burst of energy that encourages us to be more assertive in our conversations and decisions. It ignites our drive to take action and pursue our goals and dreams with confidence, encouraging us to move forward fearlessly. The new moon in Pisces, a watery and intuitive sign, is a time for reflection and setting intentions. This is a blank canvas where you can visualize your dreams and goals especially those related to spirituality, creativity, and empathy. When the moon and Neptune come together, it merges the emotional and dreamy energies, enhancing our sensitivity and intuition, making us more attuned to our inner feelings and the subtle energies around us. It's a time for listening to our instincts and paying attention to our dreams, as they may hold important messages or insights. When the moon aligns with Mercury, the planet of communication, it amplifies our ability to express ourselves clearly and thoughtfully. This alignment enhances our mental agility and makes it easier for us to articulate our thoughts and feelings. It's a favorable time for having meaningful conversations, writing, or even brainstorming new ideas. This weekend provides an excellent opportunity for self-reflection and personal growth. Trust in your ability to overcome challenges with resilience and stay open to the lessons and experiences that come your way. By remaining true to yourself and seeking personal growth, you can effortlessly create a life that is meaningful, abundant, and fulfilling. From EmpathPlanet.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Colleen Lemma on Saturday, March 9th, Mercury the Messenger shifts into creative fire sign Aries, where he will be until May 15th. This is an extra long stay in the sign of the Ram, as he is preparing to go into a retrograde motion on April 1st. This gives us extra time to put new ideas into motion. Mercury is assisting us in initiating a new plan. Perhaps something we thought was unfolding or happening in our lives has been met with a stall or does not seem to be what will manifest at all. This planet that rules the mental realm of thoughts, ideas, perceptions, and communications will support us in a new aim or objective if need be. This will ignite our passion and desires, which will then merge with the energy of fertility towards manifesting a new beginning. Mars, planet of energy and action, an electrical Aquarius, is in a challenging square aspect to Uranus, 
planet of the strange and unexpected, in focus, Taurus. There can be a sudden redirection in our circumstances today. Unusual situations and occurrences can unfold, perhaps in bizarre ways that you didn't see coming. Our physical vitality may be prone to ups and downs, bursts of energy and then burnout and fatigue. Attempting to follow a particular course of direction may be followed by twists, turns, and changes that are unforeseen and unanticipated. Technology may also be affected in odd or peculiar ways. Other people's behavior may be erratic or astonishing. This is a day to expect the unexpected and allow for diversions, loops, and meanders off the beaten path. Blessings of love and light to all from sacredsoulempowerment.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mars and Aquarius square Uranus and Taurus. Sun and Pisces sextile Uranus and Taurus. The skies are wired, rerouted into a wild ride, a roller coaster, up and down, in and out. This is fast shooters, thrill seekers, devil may care, chancer energy. Some may seize the day and win, for others impatience is a downfall. The challenge is that under this electric influence, it's easy to jump the gun. Unpredictable reactions all around make this a surprising, sometimes shocking influence. The more we feel boxed in, the more we fight for freedom. Our inner warrior is charged and ready, but we need to know who and what we're fighting for. The sun makes a move to dissipate the tension. Come back to the light. Come back to your purpose, your sense of self, your why. Awaken the inner hero, and all will become clear. Learn life hacks. Dare to take a novel approach. Be a rebel with a cause. Messages from the upper realms are incoming. Stay alert. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 140, Yellow Planetary Sun. Planetary is the name for the number 10 and its keywords are perfect, manifest, and produce. By the time we get to the 10th day of a wave spell, we have already climbed up a big hill, and now we have finally reached a plateau. Yesterday was the peak, tomorrow we release, but today we can sit back and just enjoy this perfect day. It really is a great day for manifesting what you need. Can you produce the desired results? Remember that we are still in the blue monkey wave spell, and the agenda is all about magic. Today is perfect for that. Today is yellow sun, and it represents enlightenment, universal fire, and life. Today is the kind of day when you can expect light bulb moments to occur frequently. You'll be full of good ideas, and many insights will be glimpsed. As it is a planetary day, it's a perfect day to manifest the enlightenment you need. If you need some light to shine on a problem, the timing is perfect. The solutions you need will become apparent. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Planetary Sun, 10 Ahau, Keen 140, 9th of March 2024, Manifesting Planetary Enlightenment, News Flash, the planetary star Bliss Supernova Suns have risen in their ascension journey as radiant soul stars blazing forth the Bliss codes throughout Gaia. We are the children of the sun, holding the planetary Bliss codes. 9-3-2024 equal 9-3-8 equal 9-11 equal 9-2 equal 11 equal 2. 11-11 Illumination Portal Day Codes 9 Completion Endings Destiny Humanity Grace 11 Illumination Portal Gate Polarity 2 Twins Partners Cooperation Alliances Duality Month Year Codes 3 Holy Trinity Joy Communication Creativity 8 Infinite Abundance Source Flow 11 1 New Beginnings Original Leader Independent Unique 2 20 the awakening clairvision 24 charisma happiness healing joy keen 140 equal 5 liberation into the light today we conclude our journey down the mystical seventh core column the spine of the zolkeen calendar where we have been discovering our very true diamond essence for the past 20 days 
Tomorrow we arrive at the top of the eighth column, and in four days' time, on Wednesday, the 13th of March, 2024, we commence the Yellow Seed Wave Spell. Here we will embark upon another successive ten galactic activation portal days in a row. So take a deep breath in and absorb the radiant solar rays today to prepare for the next chapter. Another very powerful ascension day on planet Earth. Today we are turning up the light. Day 10 in the blue monkey wave spell of magic, joy, bliss, play, merriment, spontaneity, and a return to innocence. Today is the day of manifestation on the physical plane. The accumulation of energies over the last 10 days of this wave spell allows us to harvest this energy through manifestation. Today we are manifesting great illumination, magic, joy, and bliss through our solar enlightenment. As we are now reaching the boundary of the zero-point field on the Rainbow Bridge, this is potent manifestation power to end our visit in the core of the Zolkin. Tone of creation, planetary tone 10 in the physical realm. Action produces, power perfects, essence manifestation. The tenth stage of the wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible, and more. It is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality, and our lives begin to reflect the deep soul longings that we desire. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with spirit today. We have the power to perfect and accomplish great healing in our physical bodies through our manifestation process today, perfecting transformation in all aspects of our being on a personal and planetary level through our enlightening ascension journey. Note the planetary manifestation tone coupled with the sun and monkey magic today is a very powerful yang energy to utilize for your creative expression. The moon is in Pisces, so take note and use this power wisely for the benefit of all. Today we can harvest this fuel to boost our personal and planetary ascension. Today's question is, how can I independently perfect my creations in order to manifest great magic, joy, and bliss in my physical reality? Am I ready to truly shine in my role as a planetary star bliss supernova sun? Divine blessings for a giant planetary leap in the transformation of our physical reality. Beautifully made manifest today. Alleluia! Hop to it, planetary kin, in la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 140, Yellow Planetary Sun. The mantra, the code for today is, I perfect in order to enlighten. Producing life, I seal the matrix of universal fire. With the planetary tone of manifestation, I am guided by the power of elegance. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Mariana Bariana, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. 
Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase their beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now, we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful divine decree from the I Am activity. I Am Angel Decrees Beloved Mighty I Am Presence Higher Mental Body and Blessed Saint Germain I accept the love of these legions of violet flame angels ever around me until their freedom is a sun presence about me forever and wherever I abide I give it to others as the angels of the violet consuming flame are ready to give it to me. I give daily acceptance and remembrance of the violet flame angels which beloved Saint Germain has offered me. I demand legions of the angelic host, legions of the violet consuming flames purifying love in and around me, to compel my freedom from all that is not perfection and purify everything in my feeling world. I join the legions of the angels of the violet flame who minister to all mankind and give my blessing to the world in the violet consuming flame's love that is forever the redeeming power to all. Beloved mighty I am presence, higher mental body, and beloved angels of the cosmic violet consuming flame, I love you, I bless you, I thank you for the service rendered. Stand guard and assist me in holding uninterrupted harmony and silence. May the angels of the violet consuming flame in their great presence that blesses all things for eternity guard you, guide you, control you, direct you, prepare the way ahead of you, and keep you ever in the arms of your beloved mighty I am presence until you arise in your octave of eternal perfection. Beloved mighty I am presence, higher mental body, and blessed archangel Mikael, I demand the immortal flame of love from the great central sun come into outer action to take the place of all lack and limitation. I command the flame of the angelic hosts a mortal love become for me the things I require to go forward happily and fulfill the great divine plan, the ascended master's way forever. Beloved mighty I am presence. Higher mental body, I demand all the power and activity of the sacred fire of the immortal love of the angelic host come into my outer affairs right now to produce perfection and fulfill the divine plan, the ascended master's way forever. Beloved mighty I am presence, higher mental body and blessed archangel Mikael. I am a son of the victorious love of the angelic host. I demand their presence with me so the flame of their love may enter into my business affairs, protect all that is constructive, make me victorious, free me from all limitations, and help me fulfill the divine plan in its ever-expanding happiness of perfection's flame, sustained and expanded forever. From St. Germain Press, I am Decree Booklets, Book 2. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and restful Sunday tomorrow, and most powerful and activating new supermoon in Pisces. As we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with peace and love in every step and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.